back in 2014 there was a major forest fire, a really big one. And the year after this they made a nature reserve of the area so that you can go there and watch the nature come to life again. And they built uh, trails to walk on and uh, a tower to climb up and have a view. Um, so that's our destination today. The ride to this nature reserve is about <clears throat> 170 kilometers one way. So today I will take my KTM uh, just for the comfort. This is how it can be. You can <laughs> end up in the middle of the forest. Uh, depending on how you set your GPS but that's fun uh, you know this nature reserve we're taking a chance by going there today because I don't know how it looks today you saw in the photos before that uh, you know it's pretty cool when it was burned down but now it's gone almost 10 years and maybe everything is green and you can't see anything but that's how it is, sometimes you must take a chance, so it's, it's a long ride and uh, for a chance. I hope it will be worth the while. See this? Well, at least we get some exciting uh, nature here. And I have Fredrik on his Vespa behind me. I don't know, I don't. <laughs> we'll see where he ended up. So now I really tricked Friedrich into going on these roads. <laughs> I hadn't got a clue that it would be like this much, uh, you know, gravel dirt road. Because I put my GPS here on uh, as if I was out walking. So, you know, maybe there will be a stop there. I can't go further in front of us. I don't know. So it's a big chance now. But this is to avoid the big roads. That's why we're doing this. It will be more of an uh, adventure. I have to stop and take some coffee and uh, some buns and things every now and then. I'm a bit worried because there are a lot of clouds. So I think we're in for rain. Now we're about to go in to the area where the massive forest fire was back in 2014. So you can go by bike or car in a bit and then you can stop and uh, you know go on the trails and so on. Now we're actually going straight into the main area as you can see. So there's a tower you can get up to. I don't know how high it is get up and uh, maybe you can see the whole area that's burned down I don't know I don't know what I'm going to go get up there anyway here we are information here in both Swedish and English. You can see the fire. There were firemen, firefighters from all over Sweden came here. Look at this. Started here on a Thursday evening. Sunday evening we had this area. Monday after afternoon we were here and then on Monday night it went bananas all of this on a couple of couple of hours <laughs> I 
over there is the tower that we're going up to to have a view because I think it's hard to imagine how big this fire was here you can read about how the fire impacts on the nature and the animals you can still see here on different places here in the nature reserve you have these uh, photo points here help us track how nature re re responds to the wildfire that burned this area in 2014 place a device in a bracket here take a photo of view post your picture on social media using a hashtag here so you can go here and every year take a picture and then you send it in and you can see the development so the several of these points where you can do this it's <laughs> insanely big On the back side here also all the way you can see there was just a major fire 